A moment of madness has finally ended New Zealand's historic winning streak over Australian opposition. The culprit, Highlanders winger Tavita Nabora, who delivered a flying kick to the face of Waratahs opposite Cam Clark when claiming a high ball in the 18th minute. When coach Aaron Mogger stressed the importance of a good kicking game, that wasn't what he had in mind, and Nabora's baffling brain fade, which could see him banned for the rest of the season, left the Highlanders in an untenable position. He was rightly shown a red card, and his exit signaled the conclusion of the winning streak, with the Highlanders going down 41-12 to halt the run, finally, at 40 games. In truth, it may have ended regardless of Nabora's faux pas. The Waratahs were the last Australian team to beat a Kiwi side 722 days ago, and had so nearly ended the streak the week before, blowing a 29-0 lead against the Crusaders. This week, they built a 22-0 buffer, and had no problems holding on. Their enterprising style of rugby deserved all five points, with the hosts showing some scintillating moments even before the Highlanders imploded, and then deftly utilizing their numbers advantage. It was a significant advantage, not only were the Highlanders without Nabora for 62 minutes, they also had to play 10 minutes with just 13 men after Aaron Smith's attempted intercept was ruled to be a deliberate knockdown. Tavita Nabora gets his marching orders. Photo, Getty as it turned out, the Highlanders' performance with 13 men was just as sloppy as it was with 15. In both periods, giant Waratahs winger Takele Nehorevoro crossed in the corner, on the second occasion barging past three defenders to plant the ball down in his substantial mitt. He was a menace for the Highlanders' defense all game, beating six defenders as the Highlanders missed 27 tackles, but the whole Waratahs back line was causing problems with their extra man. They really do have some talent in the backs, and Bernard Foley, Curly Beal, Curtis Rona and Israel Folau all proved elusive as they attacked from deep with regularity. Folau gave the Highlanders hell, and it was his impact which denied the Highlanders any chance of an improbable comeback. Folau struck twice after half-time, finishing off flowing end-to-end -end moves as the Waratahs ripped the Highlanders' defense to shreds. It's that defense which should be the Highlanders' main concern right now. In their past four games, they have conceded 134 points, and while they have already made excuse for tonight's effort, their chances of winning the title look less likely by the week. The Waratahs, meanwhile, face the Chiefs next week, and who knows, maybe they could start a trans-Tasman streak of their own. Waratahs 41, Tina Arivoro 2, I Fall Out 2, Elfo Getty, C Rona tries, B Foley 4 cons, Pen, Highlanders 12, E Dixon, A Dixon tries, El Sopawaga con, HT, 15-0.